I am going to be moving these cabinets out of the basement. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Melinda, plain and simple. It's Tuesday, and that means it's time for another Tiny Tidy. Tiny Tidies is an ongoing open collab hosted by Sunday Dawn from The Helpful Home. And I'll have a link in the description box below so you can check out her channel. And I'll also have a link to the playlist in the description box below so you can watch all the other Tiny Tidies today. Um, and before I head on down to my basement, which is where I'm going to be doing my Tiny Tidy, I wanted to say um, a big thank you and welcome to all of my new viewers and subscribers. I did a, a Christmas declutter collab recently and since I've been doing some other videos, I have gotten uh, several new subscribers and I did want to say hello and welcome to all of you. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for supporting my channel. Um, today, today I am going to be downstairs in my basement decluttering and tidying up. So if y'all have something that you need to tidy up or declutter, clean or organize around your house, grab your stuff and come on and we'll do this together. In my Friday video, I moved all of my cleaning supplies off of these cabinets over here and put them into shelves. And now for today's Tiny Tidy, I am going to be moving these cabinets out of the basement. My husband's going to help me because they're probably a little bit too heavy for me, but they're light enough that he can do it or we can do it together. Um, but these two on this end got some moldy stuff in them, and so we're just going to go ahead and get rid of them. This one does still have some stuff in it, but it doesn't have any moldy stuff in it, so I can deal with that one later. But for now, this is going to be my tiny tidy. This box has some of my mother-in-law's uh, china in it. There's more in a bin over in the other part of the basement. The bin wasn't big enough to hold it all, um, so that's why some of it is in this box. I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and move this box over into that other part of the basement so that at least all of her china will be together. Even though I'm leaving this particular cabinet here for the time being, I wanted to look inside these really quickly and see what all I have. So I moved those little toy items up here. This is the Barbie. Uh, there's the box. I got a Barbie inside this um, with a little touch and sew sewing machine. My mom used to work at Singer Sewing Machine and that was something that they offered that year. So that was my um, Christmas gift. I was 10 years old and I still have that. And part of me wants to keep it and part of me wants to let it go. So I don't know. We'll see which one wins. But um, I moved my mother-in-law's dishes over to the other section with the rest of them. It fit nicely in the little space I had available. Um, and I peeked inside of these boxes and it looks like we have some, like, maybe some books and some other things in here. So I'll need to go through all of that stuff at some point. And also um, this one, what's in here? This one had, it looked like some, maybe some books and office supply things and stuff like that. So I'll need to go through that. And then these two um, had some books in them and maybe like music books. That's what I think those are. Um, and then this one I found the other day is full of books. And again, it might be music books. These cabinets um, used to be at our other house. They were out in a room that at one point um, I had, I called it my music room. I had an organ out there and I had music stuff out there. Um, and then when we um, gave away the organ many years ago, um, we, we made a computer room out there for my husband. But I left all of my music books out there, so I have quite a few. But this box, you can see it's pretty big and deep. Um, I don't think I'll go through the whole thing today. But just here, just on top, I can see there's some office supply looking things. I don't need to keep those. And here's the whole thing of, looks like pens and markers. And I don't need to keep any of those. I have plenty. Um, so those can all go. And let's see what else we got here. Um, got something. This is uh, from a 2002 Harry Potter calendar. And um, more erasers. <laughs> but I don't need to keep this calendar. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let that go as well. I feel like we're really close up. But, you know, 
I'll probably swish it the wrong way if I try swishing it. So, um, I think that's empty. This one's got a bunch of little stuff in it. Got a lot of paper clips here if we need them. And I'm not sure what that stuff is. So, it's just a bunch of stuff that I'll just have to go through at some point. Um, I'm not sure what that stuff down there is. <laughs> looks like computer stuff maybe and there's a book or something yeah so I have to look through there some of that may be my husband's so this is probably something from when we moved because it says computer room and supplies from my desk so that may have been I may have been talking about hubby's desk but that's my writing I think so <laughs> and uh, but computer room that's where he had his stuff so I don't know but all of this stuff definitely can go without even any thought so uh, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that right now because my goal is just to get those two out of here so I'm gonna remove that stuff that I'm letting go of and stack these things over here so that these two will not have anything on top of them and this box here here I would have let go of this a long time ago when I first started decluttering but I couldn't reach it if I can get the lid off of it I'll show you what it is I couldn't reach it um let's see it's it's a cute little box but I couldn't reach the thing it was too high up there was this stuff up here actually was that was before the cleaning supplies were here and it was stacked way up high and so I had to get hubby to help me get it down. And when I did, I looked inside and it is some mugs or glasses that I guess we got them at McDonald's since they're in McDonald's bags. And they are, let's see, this one is Pinocchio. I'm not sure what all of them are, but I would have already let go of them but he wants to keep them so that's why they're in this box and so I'm just going to find a place to stick that box well I would save this box for a Sunday book declutter with me but I need to move it and it is too heavy for me to pick it up so I'm just going to go through it while I you know as it is and see if there's some stuff that I am ready to let go of um, so I think I'll just do like I normally do. I'll just take everything and put it on the table and happily <laughs> there's a table right here. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Well, this is all the stuff that was in that box. And there were some things like these old school books. Um, I don't need to keep those. And also these old school books. These are shorthand books. And uh, I took shorthand when I was in high school. Um, and ironically, I still have my stenographer pads from when I took shorthand in high school. I did not know I still had these. <laughs> I don't need to keep those. Those can all go. Um, and this little book and this one here as well. I remember buying these uh, back a long time ago. Um, we used to buy books when we were at school. I think it was the weekly reader would always offer that we could get books and I would always ask my mom and dad if I could have money to buy books, and they always gave it to me. But I always thought we wouldn't be able to afford it, so I would have my big long list, and I would narrow it down and narrow it down and narrow it down, and then go ask him if I could have money to get those books. They always said yes, and then I always thought, I should have asked for more. <laughs> but I didn't really need more. But I don't need to keep those either. Um, just a fun memory. And then um, some Barbie paper dolls and a little one called Kathy quick curl and I keep finding actually a little Barbie or a little um, paper doll head it looks kind of like this thing and I keep finding it around and um, I just kept thinking I'd find the paper dolls to, that went with it I think I still have that paper doll head so I'm gonna hunt that up and I'm gonna let all of these things go at the same time because I really don't need to keep them anymore so maybe somebody that collects paper dolls would want them. If not, I can always just toss them. This pile is stuff I think my hubby would want to keep. So I just put that all together. And then these two books, um, these were still in the envelope that they were mailed to me in. But this is uh, something used to be, I don't know if they still do it, but used to, uh, businesses would send 
um, gifts to people when they graduated and also when they were getting married. Well, this is one that came to me when I was graduating. It says it inside, but this one is the women of the Bible. And um, this one, I forget what this one is. Um, so if I can, maybe the men of the Bible, I don't know. <laughs> but it, it's another, it's another book um, similar. I think I'm just going to read those and then pass them along. But I'll, I'll hang on to those for the time being. This is a stack of stuff that's just going to go into the shred or recycle bin. Don't need it. Um, and then we had some hymnals here. I'm going to ask hubby if we need to keep these or not and um, make a decision on those. I'm not sure. And you can see I have a stack of things here and another stack of things here. Um, all of those, I'm just going to go ahead and let them go. Unless hubby says that he wants to keep something out of this pile. Um... But there's just all sorts of, of things in here. There's old old books and song books and it just all sorts of, of things. I remember this one. Um, but there's several that are that are similar to this in here. And I don't think we bought any of them new. I think we got these somewhere. So that's why I'm saying, you know, I probably ought to ask Hubby because maybe he'll say, No, those are his. I don't think I don't think so, but <laughs> just in case. Um this was still in the envelope it came into. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's just lots of lots of variety here. You can see there's boo-boo. And this one I remember reading when I was younger. A um, little, little book there. I do remember that one. And then I remember seeing that one before. And then there's several more of these books. Just all kinds of different titles of those and um i just want to make sure too that none of this is something that would have been his mom's i think this was all stuff that was in mine but i did find some of his stuff so i just want to make sure before i let go of it all and that just had that was something old it had other people's stuff in it we must have bought that or got that somewhere and this is the sound and sense an introduction to poetry but i don't need to keep it and here's robin hood i don't need to keep it um, we used to have a bunch of these uh, that had this type of cover on them. Actually, my grandma did. <laughs> That's where I'm remembering that from. Um, Hubby often gets books uh, like, you know, he would get them like at the flea market or something. So that's why we have a lot of them that are kind of old looking. And, um, you know, so as long as he's not thinking we need to keep some of this stuff, then all of those uh, in those two stacks are going to go. Well, actually, and so are these. And so are these. <laughs> so is that. I think the only thing I'm keeping, his pile, this thing for the time being, and then maybe those three hymnals right there. All the rest of this, I'm ready to let it go. And these are the books that I am letting go of from the basement today. Well, now I have a lot less to deal with over there. And when hubby is able to, he's going to help me get those cabinets out of here. But meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I think I'll leave one or two of these boxes down here, but the, the other ones, I'm going to take them out to the garage. I don't think I need that many down here right now. And I'll go ahead and get this stuff out of here as well. So this area will look a little bit more tidied up. And that is my tiny tidy for this Tuesday. If you did a tiny tidy along with me, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear all about it. For now, I'll say happy decluttering. It's easy to let go of things when you discover mold. It doesn't matter if it's new or if it's very old. A loaf of bread, a block of cheese, a piece of furniture. Decidings made you sick and tired, but now you've found a cure. And yet you're feeling guilty because you're secretly relieved that something you've been contemplating now can be achieved. But it's okay, just let it go, along with any doubt. And while you're at it, go ahead and toss those guilties out. There's my bubby. Did you get your tiny tidy done? Hmm? Did you get your tiny tidy done today?